Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Raven again. Um, doing uh, kind of like another tutorial video, and I'm gonna be doing like rude effect makeup with just plain watercolor. You know, just nothing too fancy, just plain watercolor. I've done this before because it's when you're bored in art class and you have like 20 minutes left and you're done with an assignment. You don't want to start another one, you just get bored and start painting on yourself. That's what I do. I was not a normal uh, art student. So, what you're going to need is if you're going to do it, your face, I'm doing it on my arm. Well, yeah, it's going to have to be this arm because I'm right handed. But if you need, you can use a mirror if you need. Use a mirror if need. Um, you're gonna need a bucket of water. Doesn't matter, cold, I use cold water, that's my preferences. Uh, paint brushes. I have watercolor brushes and polyacrylic. Um, I use them for both. Um, and I have Grum Thatcher, uh, transparent watercolor. And then I have I want to say prank. Um, and you know, I love these watercolors because they're so pigmented. They're amazing. I love them. And I might be using some of my artist loft watercolors. I mean, the tall things. I have really curly eyes. Curly, curly, well, that's it. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit any of this out, so I might just do brain parts here. And I might use some of my artist loft. I don't know, but these are awesome. Let me get it open. These, I love these colors. I mean, yeah, my. If your thing's messy like this, you use. Well, fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I my my lid came off my uh, watercolor thing. I don't know. I don't know. But you know, you know it's well used when this just happens. But yeah, so let's get started. Um, I'm probably not gonna use these just yet. Just yet. I'm probably for most of this. I'm probably gonna be using my drum batcher. Um, watercolors. You know. So I mean, you can have a lot of the colors. Wow, wow, obviously, wow. I can't tell which where I'm going. So yeah. And I'm sorry about the audio on this, guys. Let's see if I can do this anymore. I'm sorry about my audio. Um, I'm just working on getting some better equipment and looking up stuff. So I'm trying to get better equipment. And the glare from my last year on it was annoying. I'm so sorry. So you're probably going to want to start with just your face. So, you know, you've got skin color, you know. I haven't done this in so long. I haven't done this in so long, guys. I can't. Oh. And yeah, if need be, you can look up a reference. That's what I'm doing because, yeah, I'm not really good at stuff like this. I mean, I am, but it's just when you don't do it in for a while, it's kind of difficult. So we're going to do the stage, we're probably going to be doing more, um, well, we'll just see, okay, we'll see. So, I already have some color on here, so I'm probably going to be using 
So I'm going to be using probably the top of my hand to do this. And you're just going to want to, you know, kind of do a couple colors. Like I'm doing my yellow. Um, probably my violet color and my two blues that I have. Let's get these out. Let's get these puppies out so I can tell you what I'm using. I'm sorry about the glare from my glasses, guys. I'm so sorry. It's just something I'm gonna have to do. You're gonna, we're gonna have to do this. So the colors I have are yellow, violet, ultramarine, fresh and blue, and yellow orchid. I might use some other colors, like maybe just a little bit of green, but we'll see. I'm not too sure yet. My hair sucks. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get all of these kind of saturated with water. And with the little thing I have, you can remove the little discs. So I'm just going to get this all saturated with water using one of my brushes. The brushes I'm using is from Princeton Art and Brush Co. Yeah. Brush, um, Princeton and Brush, Princeton Art and Brush Co. I'm using the, um, well, round brush, obviously. <laughs> using a round brush, yeah. So I'm just going to saturate these with water, so... What? So just get those saturated with color. And it's important you have a lot of water. You don't, you need a lot of water so, like, your color, so you don't pick up the colors in your water. Because when you do a lighter color, say yellow, um... It's, you're going to need to, so what I'm just, I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just taking my water out of my, uh, thing, scoop this over. Got my Prussian blue, I believe. No, this is my ultramarine, ultramarine. And I'm just taking it so it's dripping. And just putting it on, I'm just spreading it around. To get to the edges, too. You know, you don't have to, like, really saturate it if you don't want to. I do that because you get more of a pigment. So next is my Prussian Blue. I already got my yellow, violet, and ultramarine done. So now it's my, uh, Prussian, I believe. I don't remember which one it is. So we're just going to let those saturate for a sec. And, you know, using your own skin color, you don't need to put foundation on, I don't believe. If you want to, you can. I'm not going to. I have reasons. <laughs> I don't like foundation. I just, I mean, yeah, when I'm doing, like, my FX and make makeup, it's great. But, yeah. So, taking your orca, yellow orca color, just, you know, kind of get... That on your brush. Get some yellow and just kind of just paint it on. I mean, you're gonna go over this. So you're just gonna I mean, just do that. Go over it. It might kind of like look like it's not going to, so that's, you know, just when you need to get more color. Not so much water as we need color. So that's, you're just gonna, you know, give that a base. And a lot of you may think that, you know, doing latex before this might be okay. You can try that. I mean, obviously, it's not gonna, you know. <laughs> I'm just doing it all over because, you know, you want this to be a good fact. So, we're just gonna let that dry. I want it. So a lot of you who have been following my videos for a while, 
And from you now, especially from you now. Oh, and also make sure you have paper towels. So you can wipe off your paintbrushes. You don't have to constantly clean them out. You know, I mean, it helps when you're trying to turn it into color. See, that's also, that's starting out to be pretty nice, you know, just kind of, kind of dab at it. Kind of give it more of a, more of a faded. More of a faded thing, I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm. Here goes my brother. Here's my brother. So the video I did before this, guys, it took me forever to get it out. And it kind of ticked me off. But, so be it. So actually, I might be taking some of my bird burnt uh sienna color just a little bit because you know when you you're gonna probably need it that's i don't know i might not use it i'm not sure <laughs> and maybe me i'm using a i'm going off of a reference because yeah so you got the yellow on your hand okay and so you're gonna just I'm gonna dab at the purple you got. Just probably just go over it, you know. Just you don't probably you probably wouldn't need a lot of water since you've already probably saturated. Just gonna go over. Not very, not don't do it very cleanly, but very just kind of just messily. Because you're gonna use a paper towel to just kind of like give it more of a you know, just kind of stab it on. Not just like. Dab it on. You know, people, you know, think of bruises, they think, okay, well, purple and, well, yeah, purple. But they don't really think of, like, different colors of the bruises. You just kind of dab it that. <laughs> yeah. You know, so just kind of take some of that orca and just kind of drag it, you know. So I'm just kind of dabbing some more orca on this. A little bit more water. Because, you know, it just... You know, just basically kind of dab it on like you would like a foundation. Just kind of dab it on. You know, just kind of dab it on. Just kind of try to drag it into the middle. You know, kind of. If you want, very minimally. Okay, make sure you just have very minimal water and just drag it in. Kind of blend them both together. Kind of blend the purple and the ochre. I know purple and yellow are complementary colors, but for this, not really caring. Just kind of, you know, just mix them together. While you're pulling them in, like pulling the color in. Very minimal water. Just kind of drag it. Just You know, I just wanted to get that nice little bruise effect in there. Just wanted to get that nice little bruise. So there's that beginning of it. You know, a lot of people, you know, when I did first did my first kind of skin maceration with the latex. So that was pretty scary because, um, I didn't, I don't really, you know, I'm self, I'm being kind of self-taught. Yeah, I'm watching, um, uh, Pink Stylist. I'm watching lots of videos on this. 
And I'm just kind of taking their techniques and doing it with my own. So there's that. I'm going to grab that butt again because you don't want it. If you want, you can just use a paper towel to kind of fill in stuff. My phone's going to die. <laughs> Oops. But yeah. So just kind of, you know, we're going to take some of the burnt cyan stuff. We're going to use, um, a number one brown brush, acrylic brush, and just kind of barely, you know, just barely dip it in the burnt sienna, and just going to go in there, you know, and just barely just kind of give it some red color. Get some water and just kind of Kind of get it in there. Because, you know, it's like, oh, you don't want, like, a harsh cut, like, harsh line. But you don't want to be too perfect with it, either. Because you're going to be using a paper towel to kind of blend it in anyway. So, we're just going to be doing that. Get some water in there. See? Huh. Get some water in this kind of I'm gonna get some water in there. You know. I don't know what that is. Just kind of just dab it, you know. And if you need, you can add more to it. You know. Another cool trick you can do is like just you know mix the purple and like uh ultramarine blue together to make a cool color. It's more of a like, darker bruising. Yeah, like I said, I haven't really done this in a long time, so it's kind of being weird. I might add some more orca to it if you want. I started my computer and I didn't know what that happened, so I was like, oh no. <laughs> what happens when you don't use your computer too much? So you just kind of get that going, you know, a nice little one, just kind of just use your finger to kind of just drag it in if you want. Kind of do that. Just kind of use some more water, just kind of just, and then just kind of drag it in. I'm gonna messily, messily do it. You know, add some more ochre if you're like not if you're not liking the color you're getting. If you want it to be more yellow in the middle, just add a little bit more ochre. You just, just use your finger to kind of just use it and blend it in. That's what I do. I mean, you know, being. Just kind of self teaching myself, you know, kind of get that more of a yellowish side, which is kind of cool. You know. Well, of course, when I see bruises, it's just like more red, like hickeys and stuff like that, which is not really my cup of tea because I don't. You can use your finger when you're just kind of like blending stuff. You can use your finger. 
You know, can I get more in there? So <laughs> I use a lot, my fingers a lot of the time to do this because it's just so much more easier for me. Mm -hmm. Do I want to use that? Like, honestly, do I want to? I don't know. Just kind of maybe a little more of a, a little more of a gray thing around. I mean, I could use probably use some gray if I wanted to. Yes, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of, you know, it's more of like a darker blue. So, you know, if you want, just kind of get like the aquamarine color and just kind of get some of that off. So, you know, if you have a palette, use that. You know. You know. Be careful. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to be careful. Moving. You know, and get some black. You know, just a little bit. You don't need too much. A lot of black can go a little long way. You know, and just you can use your finger to kind of just, you know, if you want to add a little upper, like, like, you know, expression if you want to, to kind of give it that, you know. And you can use your finger if you'd like, to kind of get some more water on there. Just do that. And just kind of go around. You know, just kind of dab it around, just use your finger to kind of give it that, you know. Just that outlining of it. You know. Like that. If you can see that. It's kind of like that. You know, you can pull it in if you want. Because the purple, the water you're going to get from it, it's going to, you know, drag up some colors, other colors, so you can drag that in. If you want, just kind of messily. Now this may not be like as professional quality, but you know what? I'm just doing it because it's fun. And yeah. You know, in the middle you're gonna wanna use like some of this little this bright yellow. So yeah. Just kind of in the middle, just kinda of dab it in the middle, kind of pull it out. Kind of give it more of a, you know, like pressure. Kind of look, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the more it turns, like, as it turns, like, more of a yellow, it's, like, healing. So, you know, if you wanted to, you could add, like, you know, make it, like, a violety purple. So, that's actually what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to get some of my purple. Put it down in one of my little palette things. Get some more water in here so I can pull it out. You know, and I'm actually gonna use some of my burnt sienna for this too. So your burnt sienna, and you gotta clean out your brush first before. So you don't want colors mixing. <laughs> so just kind of get that wet and start just kind of mixing it up, getting some pigment, and just kind of. Just kind of start and mixing it together. You can add more if you want. So, you know, if you think you've added too much, you add a little bit of purple, which I'm going to do because I think I did too much. See what I mean? So, once you get the color you want, which is more of a, I'll show you. 
Here's more of a, I'll show you. It's kind of like a purple violet, like a red violet, but it's more of a, of a I would not want to say a dull color, but I'll show you. See if I can do this. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's this one. It's pretty, pretty it's really pretty, I like it. So I'm just going to be doing that. Be careful not trying to get too much. Kind of inside of it, you know, just inside of it, just kind of getting, you know, more of the, uh, kind of pulling it out into the bluish black. I mean, that's more, the bruise, you know, if you want, you can go over with some water to kind of blend it in more, but you're going to probably just want, I don't know, I'm just getting an extra paper towel because it can get messy, and my phone is about to die. So I'm just going to get a little water on my finger, just going to dab it in, just kind of go over it. Look at it kind of like just kind of mixing it a little bit. Yeah, I'm just kind of just going over. I mean, the yellow is going to be a little bit more mixed in with the purple because they're complementary colors. But yeah, I'm just going to get some more water on my finger. I'm just going to go start going over it a little bit more. So it might give you more of a dirtier kind of bruise look, but yeah. And then. Is that kind of that bruise? I've never done anything like that that big. I mean, I've actually had the idea of using my watercolors with my acrylic. Is that color? <laughs> Some part. With my latex because, you know, you get more of the uh, look. But there is that bruise. If you guys, you know, like I said, if you guys have more of a, um, for better understanding how this goes, please let me know and where the best stuff I can get. Because, you know, I'm just a beginner. I'm beginning. And, yeah. You know, a lot of people are like, well, if you're only beginning, then how can you do, you know, stuff like that. It takes practice. A lot of this takes practice. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things where... You know, practice makes perfect. You know? So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to do some more videos. I'm thinking of doing one with like stitching. Some sort of stitching, probably on my arm, because that would be the easiest. Instead of my mouth. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna sh sew my mouth shut. I'm just not. I, I don't think I have the heart to do that. With, even with latex and the FX makeup, even with that, I don't think I'd be really able to do that much. Okay. 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 But, yeah. I mean, I might do more what more work with the watercolor, you know, I'm not sure, but yeah, that's kind of more of the groovy kind of thing going on, it actually looks like I've been thinking of that, <laughs> so if you guys have any suggestions for me, please comment down below, because I'm very interested in what you guys have to, what, what you guys have to say, I'm very interested because, you know, if you guys have any suggestions for me, like, what you want me to do, like, what kind of effect you want me to do next, like, say you guys want me to look like I have my throat slit, then comment, or something like that, um, yeah, <laughs> just comment what you guys want me to do, and I'll probably look up a few references before, and so, yeah, another, I'm going to be doing another YouTube shout out. Um, and a code word, 
So if you guys have gotten this far, um, comment the word bruise. If you don't know how to spell it, B R U or B R I U S E, I believe. Got check. <laughs> And so, oh, it's B. I was was I no I B U B R U I S E. Sorry, and you don't know how to spell. And I did a video earlier. I'm not sure if anyone really commented, but um, let me go check. Um, why I still have my uh, phone on. Let me check that real quick so I can see. And, let's start loading. Oh, we're up. Okay, that's something different, sorry. My video. I got two views, so let's see. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna just do two shadow. So let's kind of pause that. Be reviewed. Ah, it's not letting me. Oh. I don't have any comments. I'm guessing the views is from. Um, Vic, my dad, Victor Taylor, and my person, Coda Burke, from this, I'm guessing. But, comment, guys, the first, comment of what you want me to do, like, if you want me to do, like, Jeff the Killer, or something like that. Um, comment, and I can try and do it. I mean, obviously I can try and do it. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, I can do it totally if you want me to. I'm just kidding, not my palette. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you liked it. Bye!